I can hardly remember how this became a project. This goes way back to the days when I was still wearing Jinko jeans. Wait, forget that. I am still wearing Jinko jeans. Anyhow, I had just sold off my screen printing business, and after that endeavor, anything sounded like a good idea. I don't remember how I stumbled upon this, but I remember some rich guy who had made his money in construction suddenly found an interest in electric vehicles. Apparently, in his attempt to dip his toes into the water, he purchased this golf cart. He really had no idea what condition it was in, but it did run. Me, not having any work in the shop at the time, and lacking the direction to acquire more meaningful endeavors, I agreed to the job. The golf cart ran on 36 volts. He wanted me to upgrade all the wiring, convert it to 48 volts, lift it, and completely redo it top to bottom. He also wanted a sun canopy. Later, I would find out that this motivated and eccentric customer had a, let's say, rocky road on his journey to success. Long story short, when the project was done, I never heard from him again and got to keep the cart, which basically covered what he owed me. While functional, the setup was completely inadequate for the 48 volts and the bigger tires I had to add. Sure, it's not too bad. I bet the metal underneath looks great. Okay, so you get the idea. Look, Mom, no frame. After a couple hours of the plasma cutter, there wasn't much left. Box steel to the rescue. Honestly, I don't remember this being part of the original plan. Oh yeah, and the brakes didn't work either. On a bright note, I still have my fingers. It's all about the little things in life. And then there's the controller. He wanted me to upgrade the factory controller with a modern electronic unit. Apparently he got this off eBay or something and gave me the specific instructions of figure out how to make it work. With his generous guidance and a liberal use with a voltmeter, somehow I got it sorted out. One of these things is not like the other. Okay, after confirmation from Mr. Obvious, I would like to figure out how to solve this round hole square peg issue. Okay, the tire's not square, but if it was, it would have fit better. After complete bastardization of my ninth grade geometry class, I lifted it up a few inches, put in some longer lug bolts, and made some hub spacers. I had to put this picture in of turning spacers on my lathe just to make it look like I knew what I was doing. When all was said and done, there was even a little space left in the back to store your children. Sporting 48 volts of lead acid batteries, this grotesque power and control system that I somehow got working actually ran pretty good. Off to the drag races. All finished and bathing in the sun. So who's the pretty kitty now?